how many security controls would you say the average enterprise uses? Start with some of the most common, like firewalls, endpoint protection, application delivery controllers, or privilege access management. Now add in the native controls within cloud environments like Amazon Secrets Manager, Google Cloud Armor, or Microsoft Defender. Finally, start thinking of solutions that have security controls embedded within their solution like VMware or Microsoft Active Directory. Depending on the size of the organization, you may see over 100 security tools, sometimes even performing duplicate functionality. It's a challenge to initially configure each, but nearly impossible to maintain operational efficiencies across the complete set. Oftentimes, the only metric used to measure how secure you are is by looking at the money you've spent on the solutions. This is like buying a state-of-the-art home security system, uncertain how to enable it, but feeling safe because you've outspent most of your neighbors. What if you could monitor all your security tools from a single solution, providing insight into each one of your security controls to validate their effectiveness, adherence to compliance guidelines, and continually ensuring operational efficiencies? In the next five minutes, I'm going to give you a quick demo on how you can accomplish this using XM Cyber's continuous control monitoring solution, providing end-to-end -end visibility across all your tools existing on-premise, running as a SaaS solution, or in the cloud. From the dashboard, you can quickly see all the insights from your tools, determine the total coverage of protection across your assets, assess the maturity of the deployment, and observe trends over a period of time. Each of these three high-level values are based on cloud security posture management, on-premise security posture management, and finally, your SaaS security posture management, which I'll click into here and get a deeper view. From this deeper view, you can see all the domains or categories of protection within these solutions scrolling here on the right. I prefer to switch to the manual view where I can quickly select one like CrowdStrike. Right away, we could see that CrowdStrike has a score of 26, so there should be plenty to improve here. Each control is either a tool or a security type. Security controls provide insight into the operational efficiency of the solution, while tool controls ensure that you're getting the best protection from the solution to secure your assets. If we want to confirm that all of our assets have a CrowdStrike policy applied preventing credential dumping, we could use this tools control to audit our CrowdStrike policies applied to the protected endpoints to continually monitor for that protection. If for some reason the control isn't relevant, I can pause it, which will mark it as non-active. This means that although we'll continue to monitor this control, we'll no longer use it to calculate our score, so we aren't penalized for something we consider not applicable. For controls that are very important to my organization, I'm able to configure alerting. This means that whenever the value of the control falls outside the accepted threshold, we'll either get a notification or ticket open alerting us of this change. Configuring each tool is relatively easy. Every tool listed represents an established technical relationship with the vendor. During the new tool onboarding process, we identify the optimal way to ingest data through the use of their APIs and work with a vendor to ingest relevant data applicable to best practices. Finally, we know that many tools are deployed to adhere to compliance guidelines. We can leverage our frameworks module to ensure that our tools are configured to address recommendations provided by CIS, NIST, ISO, PCI, and others. Not only assisting with the alignment to these standards, but alerting you whenever the configured solutions are no longer enforcing these compliance guidelines. At XM Cyber, we've been providing organizations the ability to generate attack paths, highlighting the most likely pathways from breach points targeting critical assets. Now that you're familiar with how continuous control monitoring works, you might be able to see how the two pair really well together. Comparing the attack paths generated from our attack path management platform and then using the new awareness of the security controls configuration to evaluate the complexity of an attack, you'll now be armed with where not only how an attacker may attempt to compromise critical assets, but you'll also be aware of the security control configuration applied to these entities within the attack path. If you'd like to see more of how both attack path management or continuous control monitoring works, please reach out to us at xmcyber.com. We'd love to give you a demo or set up a proof of value so you can understand what it means to see always.